Then in hip hop, it's another rundown, special rundown. Y'all know why we here. Then in hip hop, 13 years covering hip hop, music, culture, conversation, reviews, all of that good stuff. No politics, no BS. We are the people. Want to start off this rundown episode with a whole bunch of new music. There's new music drop. Mm. Shout out to NFR Podcast. I'm using y'all stuff, man. Um, we got uh, Tyler the Creator. We're actually doing that review, so make sure you tune in. It's a skeleton crew, but we're going to be the, the full crew before we do that. So Tyler the Creator. Uh, we got Lil Uzi Vert. Freddie Gibbs is dropping Earth Gang. IDK. Uh, two West High Gun Projects. Um, yeah, because he's dropping them on Halloween and November 1st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you know how Westside do. The, the, mm-hmm. he, he color outside the lines. I love it. I think right. what, the first one he's dropping on Halloween is only going to be like six tracks. And then I think the second one is like 14 tracks. Okay. Yeah, okay. So maybe all like right. an EP. Y'all, y'all excited for all of this new music? Because it feels like it's been like relatively consistent throughout the year. Mm-hmm. But it feels like we're getting heavy drops now. Yeah. And it's interesting that we're getting it. Like towards the end, I always yep. think like November ish, going into December is always a weird time to release music. So, it usually slows up. yeah, yeah. It usually, yeah, it usually slows up. Mm-hmm. So the fact that we getting a lot of this volume now. in this court fourth quarter is kind of crazy. So I, I just thought about it, just you know, conspiracy theory. Yeah. Do you think that some of these albums probably would originally supposed to release early, but because of the whole beef and stuff, that they might? Have went? Very possible. I remember I said it, I remember the albums <laughs> that did drop during the beef, like four bats and stuff like that. Yeah. They got buried. Bro, yeah, because yeah, yeah. from. Came out and I mean, here and gone. I hate to toot my own horn, but since my birthday, Kendrick just, that's when the shit, that's when Euphoria dropped. The shit dropped on my birthday, bro. Since my birthday, yeah, the release shit has been crazy. It's been Kendrick. It's been Kendrick, Drake, and then Kendrick, 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 Kendrick. Pop out shows, all this shit. It's Kendrick. Yep. It's just crazy. So yeah, the summertime, maybe that's why they didn't want to release it sooner, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a bunch of interesting names. You know, I, uh, Especially the Freddie one mm-hmm. that Sonny told us about earlier. Um, you only die once or something like that. Yeah. Um, so that that'll be interesting to see what he's been up to because uh, I did listen to that his verse on the Alchemist joint. Yeah. Uh, it's be a sequel, I think. To, to the, what's the album? The one? You only, only die twice, twice yeah. or something like that. Yeah. 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 He teased an album and people was thinking it was him and Mad Live again. It was gonna be their third project, but it's this. Yeah, because yeah, cause he had, um, I think I sent it to you, B, mm-hmm. where Freddie Gibbs had Mad, uh, he had uh, Mad Lib and Alchemist, Alchemist. Yep. on stage. Yep. And then that's when I text you, yep. what if he do like what Hit Boy did, yep. half and half, yep. six do, yep. Alchemist yep. do six and Mad Lib do six. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah, so I don't know what Westside is up to, but it, you know, that's it's par for the course with yep. them, yep. you know, so mm-hmm. it, it's, you know, it's like, all right, cool, Westside. Who else was on there, IDK? IDK. Yeah. Where has he been? I don't know. He did an album with K. Trinata about, I want to say, three years ago? Yeah. About two or three years ago. That was actually pretty dope. I'm surprised when nobody talking about it. It was actually pretty, it was it was dope. Hmm. Um, but yeah, he has, yeah he's, he has been kind of late. Okay, since that, so that, that'll be interesting to yeah. see what, what he's up to now. And... So he was already. Okay. He did. Yeah, so when you like sent that, that it already dropped. Yeah, I think it's already up. Yeah. Oh shit! I thought it was coming. I would have been listening to it. I thought it was coming yeah. out. Oh, you missed you miss nah. Absol. Nah, Absol was. Y'all listen to that single, the one with uh, Jit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like the the Biden line when he was like, "That's not a Biden disc." I thought that was funny. Yeah. So I, uh, the, the clip. I thought about the clip when Biden they was trying to ask some questions and he mm-hmm. just kind of looked back, smiled, and walked out. I was like, "That's." I, I, I like how he had like that. He, Talk, you know, he turned that into a bar. Mm. Do you feel, and I'm not, we're not going to stay here too long, but I feel like there are people like IDK that had a buzz, lost it, still puts out quality work, but I don't think they'll be able to regain it. Do you feel, I feel like there's a subset of hip hop artists that are like that. It's going to be tough to recover um, because people's taste and interest change attention span too. yeah yeah that too um jid is smart jid has kind of still been around even though yeah. he ain't really dropping like that but he still is around and people still want to hear jid then you do a song where Absol, soul people's gonna talk and I he mean, had a viral yeah a viral i mean moment. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's still rapping I'm just saying, jid here, released but, the album last year and he oh, still, did yeah then he, he still he still what did he know, release he's he still um yeah, yeah, I thought it was last. That one last year. 
Huh? Bachelor story? Yeah. That's 2022. Damn. Damn. Yeah, time. Yeah, time. Yeah, time go by. Yeah, shit. Yeah. It felt like it, it felt like it was a year ago. Because <laughs> people like, man, they messing. Like, we'll get to it. But people have been talking about like what's going on with Jid. Mm-hmm. Why the hell ain't Jid dropping? Yeah. Jid, I think he tweeted out at the top of the year, like, oh, you know, something along the lines like he gonna be dropping stuff all year. He so, shit. He yeah. supposed to have an album with Metro Booming. Yeah, Remember he said yeah, that? Yeah. 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 He, that would be crazy. Yeah, I think he already he said can't have one now with him though. His personal album was already turned in. And done. Yeah. So, so what like, are they doing over there at Dreamville? I saw something with Denzel Curry. Is he releasing the album or that was just a single? Oh, so boom. It's it's um me and Kim I was talking to Kim about her. It's actually okay. interesting. So it's a deluxe version, a follow up to um the King of the Mississippi South volume two that we already Okay. Did, right? Okay. So okay. It's, okay. It's extra, but he's doing it a little bit different. So what I mean by that is, you know, typically when people do deluxe releases mm-hmm. and stuff, they just kinda of tag it on at the very end of the album, change the cover, mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way he explained it, it sounds like he's placing the bonus tracks throughout the actual album as opposed to make the whole album more cohesive. So okay. it's almost like he's re-releasing it like like legitimate mm, Okay. And he okay. dropped the first he dropped the first track off of it last night, which is titled uh Still in the Paint, where he, he sampled Walk the Fuck's Heart of Paint. Okay. Oh, so, I think I listened to that today on uh Spotify. It's mm. your heart, right? it's hey. Buzzing, man. Hey man, FIFO. I'm gonna bump it in the I heard it. You heard it? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I brought it up. Oh, that's what man. I brought it up. Oh, yeah. I like it in the yeah. way. On the way hey, yeah. hey, Denzel, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. People, the beat just off rip. You're gonna okay. be like, oh, shit. That's what I'm bumping it on the way home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Uh, I was bumping it on the way home. <laughs> but, but talking about releases, mm-hmm. Ari Lennox is talking about she want to be released from Man, Dreamville. Man, I didn't listen to that. I saw she had like an 18 minute clip where she was kind of, I didn't listen to it. Woo, but, but no, she mad if she yes, been speaking but, but, for 18 but, but, minutes, bro. But, here, but here's the thing. We, we So there is something I could read that was posted. Mm-hmm. Interscope and Dreamville have been playing with me all month. Mm. I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired of people treating me like they're sorry for me. And I'm the face of mental health. I'm okay. Ooh. And I've never been happier. What I don't like Ooh. is being signed and lied to oh. and manipulated. Oh, Not one person at those labels ever knew how to market or protect oh. me. Ooh, when a woman's fed up. When, a, said, woman's when fed a woman's up. fed up. Protect me. Yeah, when a woman's fed up. Y'all don't know the half. Constant letdown and neglect. This industry stuff will never be. Ain't nothing me. you can do. We've talked about these labels mm-hmm. that... Um, are which label are we talking about right now? Hold on, I don't mean, just hold on. <laughs> let, 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 let me cook, okay? let me cook. You ain't even off the plate yet. It's still in the pot. Go ahead, people. It's still in the pot. Go ahead and cook, people. We we've talked about these rapper led labels that, for whatever reason, especially when the roster starts to get relatively big, that it feels like there's a drop off uh, with the rest of the roster, right? So we could talk about Rock uh, with Jay Z. Right, Cameron, Beanie Siegel, State Property, all the Kanye. You know what I'm saying? We we we've seen the the behind the scenes. Kanye felt like you know outside of being a producer, like he he wasn't getting no shine. Mm-hmm. Um, we've seen TDE most recently, right? Like their biggest star went and left and started his own thing. No love lost. You know what I'm saying? Still, they still brothers, but at the end of the day. Um, you know that hasn't been as as good as we all anticipated. We no, see too. that's what I'm saying. So re- reason that was a whole situation. We seen Bad Boy. We seen Death Row. Um, and right now we have questioned for a little while why isn't Jid bigger than what he is? Right? Like we all have talked about that he is. A superstar in the making. He has every like he could go commercial. He could do the rapidy rap. But also going to that, why not Ari Lennox? She should be at mm-hmm. damn near at Scissors level. You would 100, think. You know 100%. what I'm saying? She said, she said they playing with her. B. I yeah. know. She said they. Play, she fed up. Ken. She is fed up. And, and there's other artists on that label. We can we talked about it with Earth Game, right? On D365 reviews. Go go subscribe if you haven't done it already. Ken, we talked about how that album was so funky, so Atlanta, that it could be a movie score. It could be so many different things. And it just flew under the radar. It was released. And if you fuck with Earth Gang, you knew about it. But if you don't know who Earth Gang is, which is why I would assume they signed to a label like Dreamville, is to get out there. They're not getting out there. What has Dreamville done for any of, any of their artists? Because what Bob's doing. I, this is homie. Boz, Kaz, all them dudes, they, they like, 
homies. We're talking about people that he signed and he snatched up. Let me tell you what he's doing. What he's doing? Conspiracy time. Oh, uh -oh. shit. Uh-oh. I think J. Cole was just trying to snatch up the competition and put him on the shelf so he can have everything to himself. Jid, Earth Gang is dope, is different, but Jid, Jid is one of them guys, man. He was he, he was hot out here in the streets. Um, so, hey, let me just go ahead and get him, put him on to the side, and then you ain't got to do, you know, how I many you, your time is coming. Don't worry about it, bro. I got you. I got you. And he's just been sitting there just doing features and verses and shit yeah. like that. Ari Lennox, B, you right. Like, people sure love Ari Lennox. Why the hell is she right. just putting out, like, EPs and stuff like right, that? Bro. Why is she not out here? Because yeah. she's not a direct competition. What, did you just sign a J. Cole just so she can sing on your tracks and stuff like that? Right. You're just trying to have an in-house vocalist just for you to use? B, you know when a, you know how mad she got to be? When, they, when, when a woman say, playing... When she referenced playing with me, bruh. What else she say? What else she say? People playing said, with me. They ain't protecting me. Cause she didn't say they ain't promoting me. She said they are not protecting me. She also said in the I think in the like if y'all heard her tone, she, she was fed up. Yes, I didn't listen to it. Yeah, I was. I, I wish I would have listened. Oh, to Oh, I it. didn't have to hear the tone. Oh, yeah. I heard the words. Yeah, just by I've reading heard it. that. Yeah, he can yeah. read the words. I know the tone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know the tone. Yeah, I know, I know the, the black man. We know what it me. is. <laughs> and also, one, one thing I will add in, she also pretty much said like you know. They was basically like they renege on her about a lot of stuff. So they'll tell her one thing or they'll mm. tell her one thing and then turn around and oh well this this and that yada yada yada. But it'd be like real bad excuses. So like for the the her recent release Smoke right no she was nobody knew that she actually officially released the single or the music video. Uh, yeah, yeah, I she did. She saw that the single and nobody was really reacting to the single being dropped. She was like, okay, well I don't even want the video to drop no more because I feel like this is. It's ruined what the what the song was. What the song's supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah. She was like, "It's supposed to be mm, me taking mm, back mm. a narrative about myself and it's showing that I am a strong person. I'm not the face of mental health. Damn. That's, that's nature. And they dropped the ball. And then she they told her that they would do it, but then it still went up. And then when she asked about it, apparently at least one remember from the video, she was basically saying, like, "Oh, they said told her that we well, you know we couldn't get in contact with the people who did the video and da 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 da." It's like y'all really to yeah, 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 like y'all dream. What the fuck are you talking about? Like at, at the end of the day, I know that we here at Denny Hip Hop love the artists that are signed to Dreamville. Um so we've no. covered multiple projects of theirs. <laughs> um but at the end of the day, I know one of my biggest questions has always been why are they not bigger than what they are? And to me, marketing and promoting has been an issue because it's just kind of like Oh, they just dropped the album. Yeah. I didn't, like, there was no buildup. There was no anticipation. Nothing. There, and, and here's the thing, right? Like, we live in a different climate where social media is not enough. You got to put dollars. If, if you're serious about your music, Right. And obviously there's all different types of budgets. Mm -hmm. There's there's independent artists that only have a thousand dollars. OK, cool. Spend that thousand. Spend it wisely, but spend that thousand. But if you're signed to Dreamville, I would assume that your budget should be a couple hundred of thousand. Yeah. You, shouldn't have you know, to pay your own money either. you shouldn't have to be yep. paying your own money. You should have somewhat of a say, hey, I want to do it like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the people that are working for Dreamville should have the, the 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 processes, the contacts, the connections to be like, okay, my art, the artist wants to do X, Y, and Z. All right, cool. Let me reach let out me to this. Let me do the yep. and yep. then put all that shit together and be like, all right, cool. Yeah. The budget, your budget, you know, for for yep. this particular project is three hundred thousand. Look. That includes videos and everything. We're only gonna be able to do mm -hmm. one video because you want to do X, Y, and Z, and then keep, and then move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it feels like Dreamville and other labels are just here. Twitter, oh, IG, easy, easy. and that's it. No, 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 when we talk about like labels and artists not needing labels, this is part of the reason why. This is part of the reason why, Ken, because if that's what you're going to do, I could just do that by myself. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck am I giving you all? Why am I cutting up the piece of the pie mm -hmm. all these different times if what you're doing is what I can do? Why? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense because at the end of the day, like, y'all hate when I bring this nigga up, but Russ, 
Russ, can you can you can scoff and do whatever well, you want? Wrong? Well, why you get so mad? Right, yeah, it's fine. I'm listening, bro. I'm listening. I'm here. I'm here. I'm okay. listening. But I'm just saying, B, like, he is one of the smartest independent dudes in the game. Like, he talks about it all the time. He makes over 100 bands a month. When do you see him marketing? He puts it out to his fans. If that is going to be what the label does, then mm -hmm. I, I, what the fuck am I signing you for? Yeah. And I feel like Dreamville, including a whole bunch of others, this is part of why the industry is really failing. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 our the people that are signed to them. I think I feel like I asked this question before. It's just like, do being signed to a label mean anything anymore? Like you know, I just be like, oh man, I signed to Death Row or I signed to such and such. It's like. Though, like, I signed the Swap House, you know what I'm saying? Like, does that mean anything, like, being signed to a label? Like, he sure was, he sure was, ain't no real labels no more. It's just, yep, mm -hmm. yep, or you just might use them for distributing deals or whatever. Yep. Yep. That's pretty much it. Yep. Bro, artists selling their catalogs yeah, and shit music, like that. Music is yeah. in shambles. It, it's, yeah. it's a, like it's it's really bad. There's a couple of music podcasts that go to business that I listen to. Mm -hmm. like, like they, yeah, they don't. Yeah, it's 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 pretty rough out there in yeah. the street. So yeah, um, no, nah, I think it's a death sentence. I don't think you need to sign to a label. It's, it's, nah. what, what's what's the yeah. point? Yeah. You know, no, nah. I, I I think if you are gonna sign to a label, it should be your own label, and then you just seek out a distribution deal, yeah. and that's all you need to do. Because what the fuck is a label doing that you can't do? Right. Like we've talked about the power of this. You can shoot your own music video. You can shoot your you can edit your own fucking uh, uh, marketing and promoting mm -hmm. and you can upload it directly from here. You can do everything on that and on that. Well, like, literally everything. So so what the fuck am I utilizing a music label for? Because now even the contacts and connects, nigga, I can find the majority of them. And then if I if I can't. I should know a nigga that know a nigga that know a nigga mm -hmm. that can get me to the nigga that I need to know. To yeah, know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All I got to do is just press the button mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. So if that's what y'all going to do and I'm giving y'all like you, 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 you yeah. And, 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 and not only on the back end, on the front end, you front, you give me a hundred bands, but then I got to pay you back 400,000. Right. Yeah. And, and then if I don't, then it goes into the next, like, come mm -hmm. on, that's not good business. It's just not good business, and I, I don't understand that at this point in time. Yeah. When you really think about it, the only reason that Boz and Earth Gang stuff are still doing well without, because they're also not getting the same promotion, level of promotion, nah. promotion either. They have fan bases built in. established and built in yep. before they sign. Boz, you have the Fiends. Earth Gang, I'm not sure if they have a name for themselves. Mm. They're their fans, but they was already well established. Them signing the Dreamboat was just kind of like, oh, it's supposed to be like- Cherry on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Ari didn't have the chance to really do that. They snatched her up as soon as she, you know, really started making any type of buzz. Just like Kaz so too. Club. Yep, same thing with Kaz. They yep. snatched him up. You, you, you know what Kaz's career is is very much so. Who, who's the R&B nigga you don't like, Ken? Um, Bryson Tiller? Yes. It's very much like Bryson Tiller, where it was a lot of snippets. It was like, yo, what the fuck is this? It sounds different. It dropped. People loved it because uh, can't knock the hustle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, that shit came out. Then J. Cole heard it, jumped on the remix and signed the nigga. And what, what has Kaz been since? Look, before we get into why everybody was here, um, breaking news. This happened today. Metro Boomin uh, is accused of alleged rape and sexual assault in a lawsuit. The call was made. Oh, I'm sorry, did I know Rel? I'm sorry. He said I, the I, call I, was made. <laughs> hey, somebody, hey. somebody was sitting on that folder, bro, and made a call, bro. So this is from uh, Variety.com. Metro Boomin, the hip hop super producer who has worked with everyone from Future to 21 Savage, was accused of rape in a civil lawsuit filed Tuesday in LA. Vanessa, ooh, I can't they say that. They named Huh? They named a person? Yeah. Well, the person that claims it. Mm. I can't say her last I, I, I'm, I'm going to butcher her last name, so I'm going to just leave her at Vanessa. She's 38. She claims that the producer uh, referenced the assault in one of his songs after pretending to be her friend for months. Uh, she also alleges she terminated a pregnancy from the assault. Ooh. Is this going to be uh, 
not necessarily a trend. And, you know, I, I feel sorry for Vanessa uh, having to go through all of that type of stuff. But um, how do y'all feel? How do y'all feel? First and foremost, this is not um, a good look. No, it's not. I do hope that the alleged victim, if everything is indeed true, gets the justice that um, she's seeking. And that's crazy. You said, know, someone, you said someone put the call in, Ken? I said, hey, man, I, I, you know, it's... What happened? I, you know, I don't know, B. I don't Damn, know. I bro. Just, I, I just thought, I was like, oh, this is this is interesting. This is interesting, given everything that happened today. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, Drake, be, he be looking for info. You know, he may have found Vanessa. Damn. Um, but no, nah, man, everything that happened to her, man, that sounds, I mean, it sounds awful. Bad way to end the yeah. year, Metro yeah, Boomin. Yeah, for Metro You have this big, year. yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, it's a super it's big a, year. Yeah. And then to have this kind of sour it, because I'm going to give you guys even more detail. Mm -hmm. So this basically happened back in 2016. Ooh. Where, yeah. Where she describes bonding with Metro over the ability um, to help people in their music um or to help people in their darkest time through music mm -hmm. and then she says that she arrived um at his spot she was immediately given a shot of alcohol and also ingested a half of a xanax bar which she used to cope with her anxiety after her son's loss mm. um, she took advantage of her she says that um they spent time discussing his own depression um and just kind of you know bonding over their mm -hmm. own traumas um, and at the time he had broken up with a long-term girlfriend. She said, however, the next thing that she can recall is waking up on a bed in a different location with him, graping her and being completely unable to move or make a sound. Same yeah. city or different state? Cause that, that could get real serious, real quick. What do you mean? Like, like moved in a different it, location. I don't know. Variety doesn't um, it didn't specify, specify like specify that, but she just that. says a different location. So I would assume maybe a different part of the house or a different part house. city or a different, you know, yeah. say just a different place in yeah. general. They got us wrapped about it in the lyrics, bro. What are you doing? Yeah. Like what, bro? Why this, are they telling they so? Yeah. This is a Boondocks she, episode. Yeah. She said that at no point was this consensual at all. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, mm. yeah, yeah. So, 2016. Yeah. yeah. So she said approximately one year later, Metro released the song Rap Save Me with 21 Savage and Migos members Offset and Quavo. Um, the lyrics, she took a Zanny, then she fainted and she, uh, and she drive me crazy, have my baby. Mm. It's not good lyrics. And those were cited in her lawsuit. Damn. It's going to be extremely hard yeah. for him to prove otherwise, given the fact that there is some type of audible reference to it in the song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, Two thousand, like, and and I think that's that's because now that they can use rap lyrics in court now, right? Something like that. To a degree. To a degree. Yeah. yeah. So now you have that. You have everything going on with young. Like they are actively looking for cases now. Yeah. And so, two thousand sixteen would be hard for her to prove, right? Because it was so long ago, um, and probably a lot of other legal things in addition to that. But it's it helps make the case when there's reference to it mm -hmm. in the lyrics uh, and it matches up with her story. Now, everything has to be proven. They have to find evidence. Yeah. You know, of course, have um, documentation of uh, the abortion, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, all this stuff. But yeah, it's not a good look. And I, it's, that for, it sounds like it's over to me, you know, Damn, given man. everything that happened with what's going on with Diddy right now. All yeah. these cases, bro. No, it's just. Bad time and yeah, bad horrible yeah. time. And and they were, I think, was was Metro and them uh, alleging that she was trying to do this for money, and no. that there was some payments or something going on. As far as I'm concerned, Metro hasn't said anything. Yeah, no. I was say I don't think he made no statements. Well, somebody said something about money and the really? shakedown. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because um, he, I think he tweeted out the day, you know, because Metro has a thing where he tweets out damn near every day, like you know, uh, uh, thank God for uh, you know, thank God for today or something like that, right? It's, he does it every day, like a daily tweet. 
Um, he did it earlier around, I want to say this afternoon, comments we had. Yeah, so, thank God for the day. Yeah. That's where he tweeted that five hours ago. Yeah. What's crazy to me is that with the level of fame, influence, money, uh, power that a lot of these, especially bigger name hip hop artists have, why do you have to drug a girl to get some? I, I, I just, I don't, if, it, if, if you need Power, it, bro. But if you need it that bad, just pay somebody. It's, it's not, it's, we've had yeah. a lot of conversations about, about this. this. Yeah, yeah, it's, power, yeah. It's nah, the, it's not that yeah. simple. Yeah, yeah, as, as it sounds. It sounds simple as you described it, but it's beyond that for, mm. for some people, if this is true, and, and in a lot of these cases, you know. Yeah. I was reading about a story about this guy um, that basically kidnapped a woman and she uh, went along willingly and they were drinking and stuff. Their, their bonder was having a good time. And I think same thing. He, she drug, he drugged her and basically helped her captive. She had to call pizza. Hut. She had to call 911 and pretend like she was ordering pizza. a pizza to get out. Damn. It's a crazy ass story. Yeah. How old was the girl when 2016, when this happened? So she's 38 now. So That's 26 years ago, so 30. Yeah. Yeah, she was 30. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah, man. Metro? I, I just, I don't, I don't under, can I, I just, I, I don't even understand the power thing about it. Like, I, I don't, I don't. Because you're not real. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, but that's what it is, though. But yeah, time. but you know, if if there's allegations of a shakedown or money, like the same, Diddy was saying the same thing, and look yeah. what happened to him. Right. We but, getting video footage. Yeah. Yep. And that's just one thing. I know. There's yeah. no telling what other video Boy, footage. Is hey, hey, but 2016, all... B, call was made, bro. Call was made. Something, some, something went down. Somebody so, found somebody that knew something with something. The whole reason why we're here, we got a, a expedited special rundown. Uh, Little Dirk. Now, look, before I even get to the details of the shit, mm. I saw it, right? And I feel like I, I was the first person that shared it in our group chat. And when I was reading this, I was like, nah, this, nah, bro, nah, like this, this, this is not what's happening. Something like this, because I guess maybe I, I more so understand the streets. Mm -hmm. I understand this type of power. I, I understand something happened to your brother. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he, uh, Dirk considers Vaughn his brother. You know what I'm saying? He feels a type of way about something. You got money, you got power, you got influence. Yeah, they got a case together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you make a, a couple calls to get some niggas handled. I done seen it. I, I, I never been a part of this shit. Does Dirk still in Chicago? Like, he still live in Chicago? Is he still, like... I know he frequents. He frequents I yeah, but I don't, I don't know if that's his primary residence. Like, did he move away from Chicago? I, I think know. so. I don't know. I don't know. He Be should. I, I hope he he should have. If he did. yeah. I, I, look, I, okay. So 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 we'll go here real quick. I feel like VZ that um, whenever you make it big, you should leave your hood. Yeah. Chief Keep did it. Say, yeah. And we already Chief. know how. Yeah. He was, we know he how was wild Chief Keep was. Yes. And he yeah. he left Chicago. Yeah. And he said that's probably one of the best things he's done. He said yeah. He got to LA, he just Sure, he Bruh. Was, he went around the same shit, so he was looking at stuff different. Yeah, yeah and I think yeah. that's what Dirt should have followed. He should have followed that same blueprint. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because you know we see Young Dolph in his home city, still in still in Memphis, N Nipsey Look, Hustle. You know what I'm saying? Still like, in LA. Yeah. You, you, I, I feel I feel like once you make it to a certain level, and, and and it's fucked up, right? And, and the reason why I say it's fucked up is because both of the artists that I named gave back to their city. You know what I'm saying? Like they put on for the city and they gave back so yeah, to their city. In their city. mind, they're like, oh, nobody should no, be able to touch me. Uh, look, yeah, no, no not the case, bro. Yeah, the, because in their mind, they thinking this is my city. Ain't, yeah, ain't nobody yeah. gonna hurt me in my city. Yeah. You gotta leave, bro. Yeah, you gotta Once leave. Once you get a certain stature, you just gotta yeah, leave. You bro. just gotta leave. Cause it's, it's no longer safe for you. Yeah. Like I think as a rapper, you're already a radio target, but in your city, and you niggas up. know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it, it, it's 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 a fucked up situation. But back to Dirk, I saw it and and I thought that this was this 2024, man, 2024, the crazy year has been one of the most active years when it just comes to big name people in media for a whole bunch of negativity. Uh, yeah, shout out it to started Cat. with him. Shout out it to Cat with him. Williams, bro. This man set off 2024. Um, well, this is it's interesting that this is the second murder for hire case involving rappers. That was the second. That was the. What was the first? 
um, uh, Dolph, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. 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 his brother, because it was yeah. no Gotti's brother, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I, so I was like, man, they, they. It's rare you hear stuff like this publicized, yeah, like yeah. that. Like sometimes you think this stuff is like movies, right? Yeah. So, and, and to a certain degree, is while true, the headline makes it based on movies, make it seem like it's like, oh, I just went and hired a hitman or something like that. When you know, he just just basically put a number on his head. Yeah, you know. Um, it's not on some John Wick shit or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to a certain degree, especially like that last one where everybody was trying to get him right, it's 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 crazy right now. And I'm thinking that we're in a place now in in hip hop where it felt like for a while the violence and stuff was gone. Society, yeah. And now it's like yeah. it's back. Well, oh, you um, mean like when you mean you don't mean like in recent years? You just mean like. In the last fifteen years, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. We're we're hearing a lot, like a lot more. Yeah, because you like, got pop smoke. Though. Yeah, pop smoke. Young, it's, mm. it's been a lot. It's been, my man, what's the, I can't even remember his name. He was in L.A. and oh, yeah, the chicken um, and waffle. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, PNB. Yeah, PNB, yeah, PNB, right? yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Like oh man, it's, yeah, yeah. Julio, yeah, bro. It's just been a lot of, yeah. a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're so, right. In recent years. Yeah, yeah. Recent years. But yeah, it, it, did, like it definitely calmed down mm -hmm. and during the blog era. Like kind of like during the blog yeah. era, we definitely had a good calm. Yeah. Wasn't no violence yep. or nothing. You look at Dirk, like he just recently turned Muslim. Um, Chicago, or I don't know if it was a, a particular county. You but look like they, Dirk did, huh? Yeah, Dirk, Dirk changed his name and everything. It's a little late for that. Co committed completely to Islam. Um, he just recently did that. Uh, he he got keys to the city. You know, mm. saying he was giving back. What does that mean? I really, I never understood. I, that. I think it's the keys to the city. Yeah, I think it's different to, to every mean? city uh, because, like, Diddy had the keys. I think to Miami. You know, saying they they took. He that had shit the key back. for New York. No, I was in New York. Really? Yeah, I want. I think it was. Did he didn't get the key to New York? Maybe, maybe it was New York. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I just think know it was, it was city. New York I, way before I Miami. I just know that when when the shit Luke got real, Luke would get the keys to see Miami. I, I was yeah before Diddy. But all, all I know is that uh, you know Diddy had keys to a city. Yeah. When the shit went down, they rescinded said, that. I don't know. That Dirk means. as well. He he had keys to the city. Um, they took away that. You know, he's been recently given back, you know, through charitable donations, stuff like that. Recently? Recently. So he, he must have oh. knew some shit was going down. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, part of the murder for hire plot, because uh, I watched a couple of videos and all of that type stuff. Basically, it was some internal cats that he promised that, you know, he would help out with their music careers and stuff like that. Um, also, he was the one that financed, like, the 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 rental car, the airplane, like, so to me, I was yeah, because somebody like got an airplane under his like yes. credit card or some shit. Yes. He told him if you're gonna do, if you're gonna get something, don't don't have my name tied to it at all. And he yeah. ordered, he, he got yeah. the flight under his credit yep. card. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That shit, wow, wow, super crazy. But um, essentially, uh, it was three three guys. Uh, they they flew out to L.A. They were after Quando Rondo but essentially got his cousin. Um, it happened right by the Beverly Center. Remember, we went to the Beverly Center when we was out there and there was a gas station over there. So they were following them. Um, they had, Quando Rondo's cousin had pulled in to get some gas mm -hmm. and that's when they made their move, let up. And, you know, there's video, like you, you see it, you know what I'm saying? Like the way that they pulled in, you could tell like this wasn't just a random thing. Like, like this was a plot, like mm. this, this was, orchestrated you know what i'm saying and um you know quando got to the scene and you can hear him and i think that that is definitely one of the most chilling screams it's, that it's you can hear yeah. yeah oh yeah i don't need to watch that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you can tell he was hurt yeah yeah, that, yeah. That, that made, i don't know if now he, he's, he's renounced all that stuff like i think that was the thing that made him just like yep I'm not, I wasn't even really a part of this shit for real. I've just been around it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I need to get up out of this because there's it's no winning to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's an interview that dropped. He was like, he was like, yeah, like this nigga, you know, let's say this nigga, you know, bitch slapped me in the club, right? He said, I'll pistol whip him, I'll shoot him. At that very moment, y'all might think, yeah, well, he got him back. He said, but then five, ten years later, I'm still locked up and y'all outside. He said, y'all gonna be looking back at it like that nigga was goofy. Like, Bruh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. let's say Quando was, you know, he, he wasn't no joke. Nah. They say nah. he, he was, he was. He was out there. Damn. 
Yeah, man. I, hopefully all this stuff will die down soon. I, I, it's interesting. I'm sitting here thinking and I got to go look because we had the usage of lyrics against rappers to a certain degree. Yeah. And now we're having all these cases. So, you know, uh, there may be a connection that could be made between the law. Like, and then when they change the law to, cause this, this, was this, this a fair case? Uh, yeah. Talking about they left, they crossed state yeah. lines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fair case, fair case. He was trying to fly to Italy. He was trying to, yeah, I was about to say he was trying to fly to where? Italy. Italy, so, yeah. So, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So that, so that was another uh, tidbit yeah. that I wanted to add. So this is how he knew that the feds was closing in on him. Because what he did was, is that he booked three different flights mm -hmm. from three different places. And the one that he was actually going to get on was in it's Miami. from Miami. Yep. Exactly. Yep. I don't remember exactly what the destination was. I think it's, is it, it was it Italy? Was it Italy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but but I know he had booked three other flights as well. So mm -hmm. trying to throw the feds off. Yeah. But here's the thing about the feds, bro. The feds is everywhere. Everywhere. It was bro. at all three of the fucking of airports. Of course they're gonna yeah. get that all nigga three. pull up. up. That's hey, we're we gonna be at New York. We're yep. gonna be at such and such. Yep. And we're gonna be at Miami. Yep. So at the same time. Same time. Yep. If you see him pull up, yep. get him. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This ain't yep. a movie, bro. You but can't throw them off like that. You can't. Can. Right. What you thinking like, what are you about? thinking? Okay. I mean, first and foremost, let's, let's, let's just go ahead and, 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 you know, call it obvious. Why are you going to Italy? Italy extradites to the U.S. They so sure do. Like, yeah. Like, they you, sure. What are you thinking? And if you went there, they was going to send your ass right back. That's yep. Trying to go to Japan. Yep. They going to send your ass right back. Yep. Yeah, I don't yeah, want bro. you over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, no, mm, man. Mm. Better do Russell, Russell Simmons. Man, I'm telling you, bro. Bro. You know, obviously, we'll we'll continue to talk about it as... Uh, these investigations are current, uh, you know, so, you know, we'll keep you up to date with the Diddy stuff. We'll keep you up to date with the Dirk stuff. We'll keep you up to date with the Young Thug stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's this. this yeah, is, Thug was one that kind of kicked everything off, it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now it's just like all these court cases, bro. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah, y'all need to slow it down, bro. And stop telling yourselves in your record. Yeah. Bruh. And and, and bro. Oh, and and bro, and the then details. Oh, man, there's, there's a there's a couple of connections to make. We ain't got time for that. We're gonna close out. Yeah. But the interview that he did with with uh Wild academics. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the academics profiling all the negative yep. stuff that was going on yep. in those in cities. Those cities yep. So he's documenting this. Academics the feds, bro. He documented this stuff on Vlad. video. Mm -hmm. And then they go on Vlad and tell, like you said, be telling everything, bro. Y'all, right. man. If, you know, I don't know if you've seen the DJ Academics video, it'd be anything, but you could literally see, like, in real time. Like, I saw it. Academics, I watched it. Yeah, he was putting it together. Like, wait a minute. Like, what you mean by. You yeah. Know, you get triggered by the Beat slide. the shit out of this little ass, man. What are you, you talking about? You get triggered by the slide for Vaughn comments. Still, I don't know if people still say it. They used to say it, but you also mentioned a song. They'd be like, they be saying Sly Favon, I think they trolling me. Yo, by the way, them songs is fire. I ain't gonna lie. For some reason, I just don't see them comments no more. For some odd reason. I don't know. Might be the water. You be seeing them comments a lot? But they kind of chilled out a little bit. I wonder why. Yeah. 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 He I got quiet. Was... He didn't say shit after that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That got shook. Bro, he got so like, shook. Whoa. He got so shook, bro. <laughs> he was just yeah, staring man. in the space. <laughs> yeah, man. Shook. Yeah. Oh, bro. Like I said, we'll keep you guys up to date with everything that's happening. Um, the reason why we created the rundown, man. Um, a lot of stuff that happens and. You know, we got to be able to give our thoughts and opinions on the man that hit hip-hop 13 years. Catch you on the next one. We out.